Welcome back. All right, so we're going to take a look at the Calgary Flames. Uh, the Calgary Flames, I have a lot of Flames jerseys. I have I have more Flames jerseys than you would think a Canucks fan would have. Um, and, and this is really because I've always liked Calgary jerseys. I've always thought they look great. Um, and when you're talking about the Calgary Flames, of course, you're also talking about Atlanta. So much like the Winnipeg Jets prior, here's an Atlanta jersey. Uh, this, of course, being the Atlanta Flames. Now, what's interesting is, I think the Calgary logo, I think in a C, it actually looks a little better than it does as an A. But, again, both logos are fantastic. And it shows that since this was the Atlanta jersey and logo in the 80s, very, or 80s, 70s, very little has changed. Eventually, they went back to it. So, much like their, their brethren... To the north in Edmonton, the Calgary Flames have gone through various changes over the years and ended up right back where they started. So I have various versions of this jersey. I have the CCM version. I have the 1989. Uh, there's another one too. I know there's like three different ones I have. And of course, I have the other Adidas before they added the texturing to the C. So you can see on both of them there. And I think it looks great. And, and now that it's got the texturing on that Flames logo, I think it looks better. And I love both of these jerseys, despite the fact that I am I am a Canuck fan. I haven't checked whether or not that means I'm no longer a Canuck fan, but either way, I think those jerseys are fantastic. Now, let's get into the AHL side of things. So, AHL-wise, Abbotsford Heat. I have to have an Abbotsford Heat jersey. This one I found, used on eBay, absolutely. Um, and this is one that I was kind of embarrassed. I didn't have in my collection back in the day. However, I didn't really have a reason before I had a channel to have an Abbotsford Heat jersey. I never went to an Abbotsford Heat game, and I know that that's kind of an odd statement, but I never did. I, I always felt like, well, it's Calgary's prospects, right? I don't really, like, I lived in Chilliwack. I was like, if I want to go to a hockey game, I'll go to a Chilliwack Chiefs game. I'm not going to go to a go to a Heat game. So I eventually get the jersey as said. And you've got the, the BC flag there. But we know that Abbotsford didn't keep the team. So it would move. And it ends up in Stockton. So I have both the Stockton Heat home and away. Which has the uh, California flag on one shoulder and the American flag on another. And they're nice jerseys. So the red one I already had. The white one I got as soon as it was announced that they were changing their AHL affiliation and bringing their AHL team to Calgary. And so I have both Stockton jerseys. So if we're ever in Stockton, California, I'm all set. We have various cities around the U.S. that I can visit. Various parts of the U.S. I can visit. I have hockey jerseys to cover that. Um, my wife's been resistant to going to Iowa. But eventually, with all the Iowa jerseys, it kind of has to happen. So the Flames did move their affiliate to Calgary. And so now they have the Wranglers. So here's a Wranglers jersey. Um, I don't have the white one. I've thought about ordering the white one. But honestly, I'm fine with not having the white one for now. Last time I looked at the, the Calgary website, it, I think they were sold out of my size in the white ones. So with the new season coming, that should change. But again, AHL, I got this from the Wranglers store. Uh, because it's a little bit cheaper and of course I don't have to pay shipping coming into because it's not coming into Canada it's already in Canada I don't have to worry about duties so yeah it works out pretty well uh, Wranglers I like it I like the style I like the sleeves not really much to complain about there and a nice little echo of the flames there so you have Wranglers and you have the horse head on the sleeve which is different than the horse head that they have had on Calgary jerseys so the Calgary Flames, in in their history, have changed their design a couple of times. And when they changed their design to this, there were naysayers. And by which I mean almost every hockey fan watching hockey. Now, I have one of these where the C is actually over top of the pedestal. Um, it, is, it is getting tougher and tougher to find one of these in good shape. Because as the years go by... Well, I've talked about the pro player and starter logos. They just don't last. So my guess is on the other one where the C is actually right over top of the podium and there's no separation, uh, my guess is that they had to reattach it and they just reattached it too low. Because outside of that, it is it is a legitimate jersey. But uh, yeah, back then, 
Um, and I mean, it might be a quality thing too. There may be instances where the logo is in the wrong spot. Um, that does that does happen at times. But um, yeah, I was never a huge fan of this look. And this is where Calgary adds black because everybody started adding black to their jerseys. Uh, that was just sort of the style. So eventually, that style would change. And they went to a design that uh, I also liked. And again, I like the black one quite a bit, or the red one with the black C on it, I like quite a bit. I think it's a very nice jersey. And the white one is really sharp. Again, if the Flames at some point decided to go back to this, for a third jersey, see what I did there? For a third jersey, I think fans would be fine with it. Uh, you also have Blasty on the shoulders on both of these, and they're nice. And again, I got these used online in good shape. Sure, you might get a couple of snags when you're buying a jersey online that's used. There might be a couple little little spots and marks, but most people aren't going to be looking for it. So unless you're going, hey, did you see the spot on this? People are going to be like, no. So there's that. All right. That set aside and everything. Now, of course, there's been a couple of different iterations of this jersey, right? Blasty. And in terms of Blasty overall, I don't have the other Blasty in here because it's so similar. It's just, it's so ridiculously similar to this one. Um, they did, of course, originally have red in this part of the sleeve, but I like the little flames they've got in that now. So there's like a little like hint of flames you can see around it. I think that's fine. Uh, they've they've played around with this. The interesting thing is people didn't like it, and then they did, and there's still people who don't, but there's people who do. Um, this is probably going to stick around for a while, I would think, in, in Calgary jerseys, and it's fine. Um, I, I actually liked it fine enough that I had this back in the day, but again, this this horse head on a starter, it it's, yeah. That was one of the ones that when I met Yvonne needed help. And eventually we gave up. Eventually we realized, I just need to replace this. So speaking of replacements, the Flames themselves would replace uh, their, their, their design, which was, of course, along these lines. Now, of course, I realized when I grabbed this, I can't find the blank version of the red one. So I'll go ahead and throw on the one that has my name on it. Yeah, I know. Uh, so this is the home and away they changed from. I still like these jerseys. I wouldn't mind seeing a throwback to them at some point. But I know for Flames fans, if you're saying, well, we're kind of tired of all the changes, I don't know that I could blame you if you feel that way. I really don't know that I could. But uh, these are nice, and that's why when this one was changing, I got a Reinhardt. And when this one was changing, I got one with my name on it because I like these jerseys. I don't know if they'll ever come back. So I figured might as well get a couple with names on them. Again, from Cool Hockey, right? So this one was a fun one to find. Uh, this one was tough, actually. This is your Heritage Classic Flames. And again, finding this where it's not a fake is not easy. There are a lot of fakes of this one on eBay. And the way to tell is the color. So the color should be not yellow. This is that marigold sort of orangish yellow. There's bright yellow ones out there with red rather than this kind of almost maroon color. It stands out and it's like, that's not the right colors. Uh, one thing that I'll tell you too, when you're checking on eBay and you're looking at a jersey, you're saying, I don't know if the colors are right. Do a quick Google search, do a quick image search on Google and you'll be able to find whatever jersey you're looking for on the right. Or you go to the NHL uniform site. I think it's NHLuniform.com. And you can look up, uh, look through every team's jersey history and get a good idea of what it's supposed to look like, right? So this one is, I like it. I'm the only one I think that likes it. Sometimes at least it feels that way. Um, I know there's a lot of Flames fans that didn't like this one, but I thought it was fine. I thought it was all right. Speaking of which, there were a lot of Flames fans who were not fans of this. This is their third jersey that I remember seeing this one in a store and going, well, that's all right, and I bought it. So before before I had the channel, I had three Flames jerseys. Yeah, I had three Flames jerseys. Again, am I a Flames fan? No, I'm a Canucks fan. But Flames jerseys work, keep in mind, red and black, very often seen by me as colors that might be my favorites. Although, as I mentioned in the jersey countdown with the top 101, uh, my, my tastes when it comes to colors may have softened a little bit. But uh, red and black is still, it's an attention getter for me. 
And even though I'm not a huge fan of word marks, I thought this was okay. Um, the shoulder patch here, I actually have a magnet that has that Flames logo on it that I use for, for, for game reviews and recaps. And there's times that I see complaints about it. Like, don't use that. Nobody knows that one. But it says Flames. It's It says Flames right around the top. So it has to be a Flames, flames magnet. So anyways... Uh, there's that, but I thought this was kind of fun. I did like the shoulders. I did like the striping. That well, was all right. I understand why people don't like it. And then there's this one people at times have not liked as well, which is the reverse retro from this time around. And again, I think Calgary did just fine with this, uh, for Flames jerseys. It, 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 it keeps in mind that you're supposed to take an old logo design reverse and it does both. It's retro, it's reverse. It gets the whole assignment. So, yeah. F Calgary Flames have had some nice jerseys over the years. And honestly, as a Canuck fan, I can say I, I think their jersey history, while not as colorful as Vancouver's, probably higher overall rating of the jerseys for me. But that's just me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always, regarding the Calgary portion of the collection. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.